Okay, Coach, coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome. Well, Coach, the seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. The seat a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington Redskins and the Detroit Lions. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. Set. 50. Plant. 56. You got nothing to run. You got nothing. Hey. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Got it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. From the gun, Eason. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Throwing on first down. Eason. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock Valvin away and bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Operating from the gun, Eason. And he finds McClure. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And they pick up 20. Five as they convert on third. And the Redskins first down. Set, ready? 70, Indy. Stand situation, let's go. Step. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Bryce Love. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redskins take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On second down, it's Drake. You ain't doing nothing today. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. A game of eight and a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And now time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And now Jackson will look to throw it. 
Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amped. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Jackson, flushed out right, and now he's going to use his legs. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. They'll run on first down. It's Drake. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A give running right, Drake. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Fighting his way through contact. 22 yards there, a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. On first down. Drake, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Jackson, eluding the pressure right. He finds his man, Jackson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. As his guys are in for six. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open. He has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Their own 25-yard line. 
out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back to throw. Eason. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Hey, Charlie! Throwing on third and long. Eason going deep downfield for Ross. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. The Redskins send out their punter. Back deep, Jarvis Landry. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Now the try here for the extra point. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And that 14 0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hey, hey, Lord. Here we go on second and 12. That's complete to John Ross. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one good for 26 and a first down. Here we go, here we go. 26 green, line, 15 First down. 64, green. Check, check, lucky, lucky, lucky. And up. They'll run on first down. Hunt takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. And now time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Here's second and nine, just a yard 56, on that last run. 56, right there, right there, 56. Yep, yep, yep. Watch the twist, watch the twist. Yeah, yeah. 56. Hey, hey, hey. 57. 56. I don't think you got it. Five. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. 
returns it into enemy territory down the 45-yard line. And now time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. You ready? Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. He's crashing. He's checking crash. SOS, SOS, SOS. SOS, SOS, SOS. Kill, 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 kill. Hey, turn it up. Turn it up. On first down. Drake. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. On second down, it's Drake. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Complete to his running back, Kenyon Drake. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there and a line first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Now they try the right side here. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Second down now. It's Drake. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. The Redskins on third down, putting an extra man here in the secondary. All day, all day, every day, any day. Check three, check three, check three. Oh, oh. Jackson from the shotgun, escaping the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The 
Let's go now. Out there Let's ready go for now. this next drive, the Redskins offense. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. You draw perfect. Bravo. 56 to Mike, boy. 56. Keep him. Keep him. From the gun. Eason. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Two minutes. remaining in this first okay, half of football. Okay. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They'll run on first down. Drake. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. 
give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. From the 27, Jackson flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Drake, and boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It's good for a gain of seven, but still a few inches short here with fourth down coming up. So with fourth down looming, Dan Quinn sends out his field goal unit. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And his kick here is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. That's fielded in the end zone. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And you're under a minute to go in the half, the first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, look your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. On third down, Eason. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Hey, box drop, box drop. Hey. On first down, Eason. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. John Ross, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. Set 70, Indy. What we got, what we got, what we got. <laughs> Throwing again, Eason. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Drop, lock it, lock it. Hey, lock it. Say he's on the goal. Looking to throw. Eason. He's gonna have the hook up to Ross. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 48. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. 
The Lions take over. Come first on, baby. Let's go. At their own 25 yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. to win. Let's go. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Jackson forced out to his left. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. the gun. Jackson flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Montez Sweat racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Check, 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 check. Here's the second and seven. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Ready, ready. 90, wolf. Come on, the ball. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Any weapon. Hey, exit. Hey, Jack. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They had to catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Just 61. Max Fox, right. Hey, Steve Six. Steve Six. Back to throw. Eason. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. This quarterback now, 9 of 17 through the air. Not a great percentage, but it is first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first and ten, Eason. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Eason, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Ready? Double tack, double tack. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing is Jackson. And a catch made by Johnson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 34-yard line. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Check, 40, hustle, hustle. 49, 49, guys. Mike, Mike, 49. So we got man, man, man. Mike's 49. Mike's 49. <laughs> on the toss, here's Johnson. You ain't doing nothing today. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. From the 31, Jackson. He gets this one to Johnson. Touchdown, Detroit! In for the score! And the Lions are able to extend their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Off the bootleg, Eason. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Eason. Over the middle complete, it's Hodges. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They'll get seven out of it, but it brings up a fourth down. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that'll cross midfield here, not by much. Out of bounds just on the other side of the 50. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A big run there by Johnson. 45 yards. One of the reasons that this team is on this win streak, big runs like that. When you see runs like that broken off, you know this is a team that's confident running the football. A big reason why this streak has occurred, they've come together, had a plan, and stuck to it. And when you get big-time runs like that, it makes it easier to stay with it, doesn't it? From the gun, it's Jackson. Complete, it's Johnson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Johnson odds poke free, football's out, and the Redskins scoop it, and he's into the clear. He's at the 50, he's at the 40, and what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. Now left side on the swing pass, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Second and two. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On first down, here's Love. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Turnover that just got them the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, though? No, I don't, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do. So now, almost like, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. Wear down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. Here we go, here we go. Shift, shift. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Right. On second down, Johnson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical.
Now a handoff looking right. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Let's go. Jackson now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Montez Sweat, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. The Lions on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. Now Jackson from the gun, he'll throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Darren Lee in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And they're going to be set up with excellent field position to start the drive as that gets out of bounds inside the 45-yard line. Ready, ready. 60 Pittsburgh. 56. Don't get nervous. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming, double up. He's coming. He's coming. Throwing on first down. Decent. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To throw again. Eason slings this deep from McLaurin, and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The Redskins on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun, Eason. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Fourth down, Eason got his man complete over the middle. That's Hodges, and he's going to get this inside the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On first down, Eason. And that is caught. What a catch inside the five. 23 yards on the play. One of the selling points of the corner route is usually the receiver is able to move away from the defender. But in this case, he didn't get that far away. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. 56 to Mike, boys. 56. Check 56. Watch the glass. Quick, watch the glass. Mike, 56. Hey, Alpha. 56. Quit talking about it and bring it. Mike, 56. Second and five. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Will Harris there to make the play. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. On third down, here's Love. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Bryce Love. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year, as his guys are back within a single score. There's certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. The Redskins going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Let's put that team on the bus. They go to Johnson again. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. On third down, Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Now it's Lockett. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. 
And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for the Lions, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to 4-5. and five. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to 2-7. and seven. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.